Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Venki here. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation 16 Pro. I assume you have already installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. So next step, we need to download Kali Linux image file. Let's get into official website of Kali Linux, um, Kali.org website, where we can download image file. I'm going to uh, download Kali Linux for 64-bit version. Um, so it will start downloading uh, .iso file. Once download completes, we are ready to create a virtual machine. Let's go back to Workstation 16 Pro. Click on create new virtual machine. It will take us to um, virtual machine creation wizard where we can choose the first option as typical that is recommended. Click on next. Then we need to pause some um, ISO installation file. So choose installer disk image and then uh, select your downloaded uh, Kali Linux ISO file and then ignore the warning message whatever displayed on the screen click on next then it will prompt us to choose operating system so choose linux and then uh, pick a version which is nothing but um, uh, debian 1064 bit then click on next then we need to provide a name for the virtual machine so I'm going to keep uh, Kali Linux 2021 as the virtual machine name then provide the location to save this virtual machine and then uh, continue to next. Next we will be asked to provide the disk capacity. So by default it picks 20 uh, GB as the maximum disk size. Uh, we can increase that to 60 that will be convenient for a virtual machine and then keep the option for multiple disk files then uh, click on next to continue pretty much we are done before clicking on finish go to uh, customize hardware option where we can specify memory size as well as um, processor uh, count i'm going to set memory as 8 gb and the processors count to 4 which will be convenient to set a call in next virtual machine once done click on close and then click finish uh, to set up the virtual machine we can see on the left side navigation menu um, newly created virtual machine will be listed out so click on that virtual machine and um, click on power on option it will start booting Kali Linux OS version so here we will be taken to Kali Linux installer menu choose graphical install option it will take us to uh, guided steps of um, OS installation from here all other options are very uh, easy and friendly we have to provide the basic information like uh, language location host name and other uh, information just to follow on the screen whatever I'm choosing you can do the same to get this installed this installation steps will take a while to get this completed so please be patient uh, once it is done it will prompt us to provide the host name i'm going to keep Kali as my host name and then it will prompt us to provide domain name either you can provide or I leave it blank then click continue next step is critical which where we need to configure the user information so provide the full name of the user and user id and create the password for the user so that um, once installation is done we can log in into Kali Linux machine using these uh, credentials so when we continue uh, it will ask us to provide the disk partitions uh, i would suggest to keep the uh, default settings as it is so i'm going with the guided use entire disk default option click continue and then keep continuing by selecting default option as it is finally it will ask us to uh, write the partition into the disk click yes and then continue disk partition will be created and then it will take plenty of time to get the base system installed 
once the uh, base system is installed uh, screen will uh, prompt us to choose software selection where we can continue with the default selected softwares make sure xfce is uh, selected and then click continue again this software installation will take plenty of time so we need to wait and then make sure all the selected softwares are installed properly then it will take us to the last part of installing grub bootloader uh, choose yes to install the grub bootloader and then um, we have to provide the uh, device for bootloader choose dev slash sda click uh, continue it will finish up the installation uh, quickly here we go installation completed new and uh, boot the new co virtual Kali Linux machine click continue it will reboot Kali Linux virtual machine for us perfect uh, so our installation uh, process completed and I'm able to log in into Kali Linux virtual machine 2 I used the user credential which we created during uh, installation steps let's try to execute who am I command and see whether uh, it is uh, displaying root user ID perfect so now Kali Linux on a virtual machine is available for us to use happy hunting that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel